Chào mừng tất cả các bạn đến với kênh dạy tiếng Việt tiếng miền Nam cho người nước ngoài. In today video, I will teach you how to use the word muốn chết in Vietnamese. Now I will teach you how to pronounce the word muốn chết. Now try to repeat after me. Muốn muốn chết 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 chết. Okay, so split it up. Moon. Moon. Raise your voice. Moon. Yeah. Moon. 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 Like sing. Moon. Moon. Yeah. Moon. Moon. Good. Moon. Moon. Now the second word. Je. Je. It's like chat. Chat. Uh-huh. Okay, try like chat, chat, chat. 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 Moon. Moon. Good. Chat. 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 Um, chicken. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> What's that? I thought it was a different word. Okay, stop that. Okay, forgot. <laughs> 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 we made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, she made a mistake. Now we made. A you mistake. made. Okay. We chat. Jet. Cha. You you pronounce chat. the word cha. Yeah. Chat. 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 Now chest. Chest. Yeah. Good. Now chat. 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 Low your voice. I mean um. Chat. 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 Now raise your voice. Chat. 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 Now, two words. Moon. Chat. Moon. Chat. Good, that's better. <laughs> Now, try to pick again. Again, again. Moon. Moon. Chat. Chat. Good, but do not uh, pronounce the final sound. Moon. Chat. Moon. Chat. Good. Moon. Chat. Moon. Chat. No, no, that's wrong again. <laughs> the, the, the word chat is wrong. Now, again. Moon. <laughs> Moon. Che. Che. Good. Good. Now. Thanks. Louder. Moon. Moon. Che. Che. Now. Uh, twice. Moon. Che. Moon. Che. Moon. Che. Moon. Che. Moon. Che. Moon. Che. Yeah. Good. <laughs> People use moon che in Vietnamese to exaggerate their feelings, their emotion. For example. If you feel very, very, very hungry and you want to exaggerate the feeling, you're gonna say it like this. Đói muốn chết. Okay, so muốn chết technically, literally means want to die. Muốn means want or want to. Chết means die. Muốn chết, want to die. So usually people use muốn chết after an adjective to exaggerate the feelings and the uh, emotions. Okay, so here are some example. Đói muốn chết. Khát muốn chết. Buồn muốn chết Nóng muốn chết Nực muốn chết Vui muốn chết Besides using muốn chết after adjective, sometimes you can use muốn chết after a verb. For example, Học muốn chết Learn a lot. And we can use in a sentence like this. Học muốn chết mà không hiểu It means that I study a lot but I cannot understand. Another example uh, that we can use muốn chết 
after the verb is làm muốn chết. That means working very hard. Uh, we can use in a sentence like this, for example, làm muốn chết mà không được bao nhiêu. It means I worked very hard, but the money is just too little. So there are some situations that you can use muốn chết in Vietnamese. Actually, there are also some um, re, uh, some other versions of muốn chết. That is gần chết. These two uh, words have similar in the function, so you can replace muốn chết by gần chết in any situation. For example, đói gần chết or đói muốn chết is the same or khác gần chết khác muốn chết the same. That's all for today. Hope you enjoy the lesson. If you have any questions, just comment below. We will answer your question as soon as possible. If you have any words that you want to learn and you're concerned because many of us use it a lot, you just comment below. We will try to make a lesson about this later in the next lessons. And finally, tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại. Dạy tiếng Việt tiếng miền Nam cho người nước ngoài. In this lesson, I will show you how to say the word very in Vietnamese. To say very in Vietnamese, there are two